What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, programmers of all ages? So, in last week's tutorial, we added the ability for the Bosque monster to be stunned. And in this week's tutorial, I thought it would be a bit more useful if we added um, our first new state, which is in the form of the main menu. So, to get things started off with, you should just head on over to your source file, new, and then we say menu state dot h x cool so it is class menu state wait before we start that so it's package and currently i do not have intellisense because if i show you here if we press f1 and then say hacks restart language server it has this error where it cannot complete as expected so i have no idea how to fix it and i currently have no way for code completion so in any case so we add it to the package the main package class and we say import flexel because i can't auto import these so i have to import them beforehand util and then we say flx color import flexel dot text flx text import flexel flxg import flexel dot ui dot flx button or button or button import flexel and then flx state awesome with those imported we can just minimize so we say class menu state extends flx state cool so we have a few variables so it's private var title flx text private var play for the play button so flx button private var exit button so flx button cool so then we over override the function for create so first things first we need to create the title and just before i start one thing that did trip me up a bit whilst making this tutorial is my lack of understanding of how it works let me just fix this it's bothering me and it won't be corrected unless i do it so when you work with ui it is important to note at the top left corner is the point zero zero on the x y axis so everything that you make, you need to keep in mind that that's zero, the top left corner is zero, 0, and the bottom right corner is the width and the height point. So that's the maximum point. So everything that you put on the screen, you have to keep in mind that the further down it goes, the higher the X or the higher the Y um, value will be. So first we have title equals new flx text and we say 50 0 0 introduction to hex flexel and we say it's a character size of 18 so I, from what i remember because i can't have any hints on what this is i say it is 50 down so it's an additional plus 50. The, it's difficult to explain without giving you the pop text pop-up to give you the thing. So just follow this on your side. You'll, you should have a text pop-up. If not, then... Well, there's not much I can do. Sorry. <laughs> you can go read the documentation. So we say title.alignment equals center. So we want the text alignment to be in the center. And then title.screen 
painter is on the x-axis so we want to center it in on the x-axis so it's at x zero and then we add the title cool next up is the play button so play equals new flx button at point zero zero it has the text of play and it has a function of click play which does not exist yet so we'll have to create that later on next up is play dot the x variable for play equals so brackets flhg dot width the width of the screen divided by two so we get the half of the screen minus the play dot width divided by two so this just says we want to position it at the middle but if we position at the middle you'll notice that like with the ui that starts at the top left at zero zero it would be the same with the buttons so at the top left of the button would be zero zero so we just say move the button up a bit to the left so that it is centered on the screen properly cool so play dot y equals flxg dot height divided by two so move the button to the middle of the screen although just a bit up but it doesn't matter if it's like a bit up so then we add it to the state so we say add play and then finally is the exit button so we say exit equals new flx button zero at point zero zero with the um text of exit and anonymous function or anonymous callback function or avoid callback function however you want to say it it's a function that gets called that does not return anything so click exit so exit dot x equals so again we want to have the um, width of the screen so copy minus the exit dot width i don't actually know what's the extra brackets for so we can probably remove those exit dot width divided by two so the same thing we did up here with the play button cool and i misspelled exit so exit dot y equals so again the height of the screen plus the play button's height so we move it down by the height of the play button plus an additional 10 bits or pixels i'm not exactly sure what the unit of measurement is but we move it down an additional 10 so that there's a bit of a gap between the two and then we add exit and then we call super.create now we just need to create those two functions that is asked for so first off is private function click play so I want it so when we say click on start I want it to fade out to black and then go over to the next screen so flxg dot camera dot fade flxg or flx color dot black so we want a black fade out that lasts for 0 0.33 seconds false and then the anonymous callback function again So we then say flxg dot switch state 
to a new play state. Cool. And then private function, click exit. And then we say sys dot exit equals zero. Cool. So we just say we want to exit our application if this button gets clicked. Now the last thing we want to do is head on so we can close this and then head on over to main.hx which is the script the, the file that gets run first. And instead of saying play state, we want menu state. Cool. Remember to save. So now if we clear this here, we say lime test hl dash debug. So let that just run for a moment. I'll be back after the completion is done. Never mind. Uh, um, so menu state at point thirty seven. No, wait, this is line 28. Oh, I misspelled with. <laughs> Lol. Okay, let's try that again. See if it compiles this time. It looks like it's compiling. My computer sounds like it's compiling. Cool, it's compiling. And there you have it. The, we have the introduction to Hacksflexor moved down by a bit. There's a bit of a gap between the two buttons. Now if we press exit, it closes the application. So let me just recompile it. It shouldn't take too long. So I don't think I'll have a need to um, crop it. Yeah, cool. Now if you press on play, and also you can see as you hover above it, it changes color. So press play. And there you have it. Now we are in the game. We can still shoot at it. Come on. Ah. No, 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 no. It's just floating around. Bye bye. Bye bye, boss. Bye bye. Cool. So, just before we leave, thank you for watching today's tutorial. If you liked what you saw, feel free to drop a like, subscribe. It'll definitely help the channel out, as you have heard other YouTubers probably say. And if you want to support the channel beyond that and maybe get yourself some nice developer swag, head on over to 8bitswag.com where we sell great quality developer swag, gifts and merchandise. So we sell, so these are the newest products, the hoodies. Then we also have the stickers, the shirts and then the hoodies. I'm still adding more. But for now, that is pretty much everything you could ever want. It is 800, 186, 87 different products. So head on over to 8 Swag, get yourself a nice Hacks hoodie, which you can search for if you go Hacks. Wait for it. You can see this nice Hacks hoodie, Hacks shirt, and even the Hacks laptop sticker for very affordable prices across the board. I don't care what people say about the sticker prices, they are affordable. So thank you and enjoy your day and I hope to see you next week again. Goodbye.